Ontario's NDP has accused Doug Ford's government of secretly lowering the Canadian content policy for transit vehicles. That could pose major problems for Thunder Bay's Alstom plant. And the official opposition is laying the blame for looming layoffs there directly at the government's feet. Vasilios Bellows reports. The production of transportation vehicles in Thunder Bay may be impacted if what the NDPs are claiming is true. They have stated Ford's Conservatives has lowered the Canadian content minimum from 25% to 10% for transit vehicles procured with provincial funding, meaning less incentive for production of things like rail cars in the province. Thunder Bay Atacoke and MPP Judith Monteith Farrell stated this would cause even more issues at the Alstom plant after recent layoffs, something she believes has been a pattern of the Ford government. We did everything we could, but it was the decisions of this government to drag their feet about you know, mass uh, transit decisions that we knew, we knew these contracts existed, we knew the refurbishing um, uh, needs were there already, yet they dragged it out and now this has caused this, you know, this lull and this layoff. And, you know, I'm hopeful we don't lose those families, those workers. Premier Ford harshly denied the NDP accusation, saying that his party has always done what they can to ensure the best for Thunder Bay's Alstom plant. The facts are, if it wasn't for this government, the Alstom plant wouldn't even exist as of today. We invested, we invested over $171 million for refurbished 94 Go Rail coaches. In May, we made $180 million investment for new streetcars for the, T for the TTC. According to a leaked document obtained by the NDP, the Ontario government planned to sneak the lower Canadian content minimum into a request for proposal for major transportation projects in the GTA. Why on earth, why on earth would this Premier do that without telling anyone, without consulting anyone, Speaker? Why would he put thousands of good-paying Ontario jobs on the line? Thunder Bay Mayor Bill Morrow was part of the 2008 Ontario Liberal government that put the 25% policy into effect, a percentage at the time he attempted to make even higher. Morrow stressed he cannot confirm whether the NDP accusations are true, but explained what a change like this would mean for the Alstom plant. If it goes down to 10%, clearly um, it can have a very, very significant impact on the long-term viability of the plant. And so very concerning for what it might mean for future work um, here at the plant uh, in Thunder Bay. A request for comment to verify the truth behind the Ford government's slashing of Canadian content minimums were unanswered. Vasilios Bellows, TVT News.